This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22. My people are foolish and do not know me, says the Lord. They are stupid children who have no understanding. They are clever enough at doing wrong, but they have no idea how to do right. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God. In the name of His only begotten Son, our Savior and Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Jehovah, and other names. Also in the name of the Holy Ghost, which is the Rukah Kodash in the Hebrew tongue, because it's the Spirit that gives us understanding of this truth, which comes directly from the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in truth and sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few Akwats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shad Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick one. And the title is going to be Nigerians Lack Wisdom. And as you just heard me read from this verse, the book of Jeremiah 4.22, My people are foolish and do not know me, says the Lord. Yahweh Shem Yahushai. They are stupid children who have no understanding. They are clever enough at doing wrong, but... They have no idea how to do right. And this is exactly what's going on between the sons of Israel who are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and the Latinos. And we have a very huge number of the sons of Israel located at the Western Hemisphere of Africa. In other words, let's say they are just located in all parts of Africa. Because in 70 AD, well, it started in 66 AD, um, the Romans launched an attack on Jerusalem, which is our home, which is actually our home. They launched an attack, okay, by the Emperor Titus. And this actually caused the dispersion of the sons of Israel all over the places. You know, they fled for their lives. Many went into Europe and many fled down into Africa, most especially in West Africa. It didn't end up there. The enemies who are the Caucasians, who, whose biblical nationality is Esau, Edom, they went down to Africa and picked many of them slaves and took them to the other side of the world, known as America. This message is actually, you know, directed to all sons of Israel, which you know you're a son of Israel through the Spirit. It's the Spirit that quickens. If this message, if it resounds with your Spirit, and you feel what I'm saying is right, then there is a huge probability you're a son of Israel. But if it doesn't sound right with your spirit, it is either you're part of the two thirds who the Most High has reserved for judgment, or you are not of the house of Israel. Myself, that I'm doing this lesson, I come from Nigeria, and I know how my people can really be so ignorant about this truth. They love, their, they love their oppressors, you know. In Nigeria right now, you know, people worship money. They don't even know what they worship, man. They worship riches. They worship wealth. Everyone wants to make it. Everyone wants to be a star, you know. And this is just what it is, man. They are foolish people, you know. They don't know who their power is. They don't know the most high Yahba Hashem Shai. They don't know him. They keep calling him by the, by the, by the, by the Renaissance name, 
that the enemies, you know, brought to them, which is Jesus. And which that name is false. The letter J never existed until 1524 by a man named Jean Tricino. So how can his name be Jesus? How can his name be Jehovah? Remember the second book of um, Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. I'll just paraphrase. It says, study to show thyself approved. A servant dividing between the word of truth and lies. You know, just roughly paraphrasing. But we don't do this, man. Nigerians go after everything that the Europeans do. They go after the oppressors. They love the style of the oppressors. If any so-called white man, you know, turns up in Nigeria, they take him like a god, man. They do whatever he says. They believe him. And once you present this truth to them, they don't want to know. They are also carried away by lots of false prophets who preach different kinds of wicked doctrines to them that are not the doctrines of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. So as I said earlier, the name of the Most High is Yahweh. The name of his son is Yahweh Shai. And when we use the word Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, this is ancient Hebrew, which means Yahweh. Bahashem means in the name of Yahweh Shai, son. Who very soon is coming back, you know. And this time around, he's not coming to die for your sins anymore. He already did that 2,000 years ago. Now he's coming back to, to destroy, to kill those who don't understand, who have not accepted this truth, who have not accepted his sacrifice, you know. Let's get the book of Romans. Chapter 1, I'll read verse 28, which quotes, well, let me change it to the K KJV, or which quotes, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, you know. In Nigeria, people people do money rituals. People join different kinds of gangs. They drink blood. They do all sorts of talismans to help themselves. They do everything except seeking for the truth of who they are. They do everything that the rest of the devils around them do accept that of seeking the truth of who they are. So the Most High has given them over to a reprobate mind. That's why you see things like this. Uh, that's why you see things like this in Nigeria. And all these images that you all see, just to get it clear, this is not a born female. This is a born male. This is a male. You know? And all, this, all these images you see, these are males actually who turn themselves females. So as you can see, this is something really... It's hot cake in Nigeria right now. These two are like pioneers, as you see. These are males. Who turn themselves females and this is really big thing in nigeria now why because the so-called white man brought this doctrine to them this was not part of our culture this was not what we we do but you know we go we go by we go by the vibe you know as they say we go by the trend Whatever trains Nigeria go, Nigerians go after. So the Most High has given them unto reprobate spirits. In which. If we go down 
to see the root word of that reprobate. Let's see what it means. Reprobate. This is the word reprobate. Strong's G96. Adakimos. Adakimos. So as you heard, Adakimos. He cast away. Not standing the test. Not approved. On feet. Unproved. Spurious. Reprobate. Let's see what's the meaning of spurious. Spurious means bogus, not being what it purports to be, false or fake. So can you see, we are actually what we are not meant to be. You know, we are every other thing, but not what we are meant to be. Verse 29 quotes, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despite, despiteful, proud boasters, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents. And every dumb thing mentioned here is a classic Nigerian man. You know? Verse 31 goes to say, Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. This just tells you, you know, what's going on in Nigeria. You know, these Nigerians are really going buck wild, man. They follow every damn trend that comes their way. They want to be like the Europeans. They want to be like the Americans, you know. And then they go after these pastors, you know. So-called pastors who are actually wolves in sheep clothing. So here, here is, this is a pastor in Nigeria, you know. This is his private jet, as you can see. He's one of the, I think he has two private jets, you know. These pastors build universities where their members cannot even afford to, to attend, you know? These pastors move around with bodyguards, you know? This is a pastor in Nigeria, as you can see. And this is just nothing, man. These are, these are, these are wealth that pastors have, you know? Nigerians love that, you know, how do you call it? That, um, this is another pastor, as you can see. All these people, they have the Nigerians in their pockets because the Most High has actually given them into the hands of these people, you know? Nigerians, they all want to make it, man. They no longer seek for the kingdom of God to come. They all want to find their little heaven in this hell. Nobody is waiting for the kingdom to come because they are okay, yeah. Because they believe one day they will make it. But hey, you better wake up because destruction is right at the door. Let's get another scripture. This is the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 2. I'll start from verse 4. Which quotes, Hear ye the word of the Lord, Yahweh, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, What iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone far from me, and have walked after vanity, and have become vain? And the answer is, there is no iniquity that our fathers found in the Most High. Our fathers actually went behind all stupid things like 419 and different stuffs. You know, they went after things that are not it, you know. And they listen to these pastors, you know, teaching them all kinds of, you know, doctrines that are not it. Verse 6 quotes, Neither said they, where is the Lord, Yahweh, that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, 
that led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of trough and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt. They never make any requirements. They never ask any questions like, why do we find ourselves in this situation that we find ourselves? Why do we find ourselves in this place and we have terrorists, you know, disturbing us in our corners? Where, why do we find ourselves in this place having all these problems? They don't ask, they don't ask such questions, man. Because they believe they have everything sorted out. You know? They believe they have everything sorted out. Verse 7 quotes, And I brought you into a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. But when ye entered, ye defiled my land and made mine heritage an abomination, which is the land of Israel. And because of this doing, the Most High punished us, you know, giving us, making us slaves into the hands of they who hate us, you know. And our major first enemies are the so-called Caucasian, so-called white man, you know. So the Most High gave us into their hands. That's why the country where you reside today was colonized by the so-called white man, the British. And when he came, what he did was to put you into slavery forever, man. The currency you spend, it's, it's actually his currency, man. That's fiat money, man. It has no value, nothing. You now that's why people suffer. These are part of the punishments, but people don't ask. They don't know. All they want to do is get rich and come out of such situations all by themselves. Verse 8. The priest said not, Where is the Lord, Yahweh? And they that handled the Lord knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me, and the prophet prophesied by Baal and walked after the things that do not profit. That's exactly what's going on. The so-called pastors that you have they never teach you what's really in the book of the law. They, they, they teach you all sorts of bogged out things, you know, teach you all sorts of, you know, things that are not even, you know, I don't really know where they find these things from, you know. They teach you things that, that are not in the scriptures. An example is the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, around verse... Verse 4, in Nigeria, that is the question, has any pastor ever preached this to you? This is Proverbs 23, 4. Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own understanding. Has any pastor ever preached that? No. Because they are not seeking from the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. They are not seeking from the fountain of, of living water, you know? They all go after their imaginations. They go after what they believe. In Nigeria, everyone thinks it's smart, you know. All Nigerian, uh, um, every, every average Nigerian believes he's smart. He understands, you know, what's going on. Whereas they don't know any damn thing, man. They are foolish. The word sottish is foolish. That's what these Nigerians are, actually. You know? This is the book of 1 Corinthians. And this lesson is also, you know, referring to the Ghanaians, you know, to the Congolese, to the Cameroonians, you know. As a matter of fact, to all the house of Israel that are dwelling in that land called Africa, in which its original name was Ethiopia. All of you, if you don't turn back to what's right, if you don't start calling on the true names of the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai, you are all going to be destroyed, destroyed, and very soon. Time is not waiting for anybody. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter three, and verse eight, eighteen. They think the Most High is to be played with. No. First Corinthians three eighteen says. Let no man deceive himself. If any man amongst you seems seemed to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. 
verse 19, it says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh power, for it is written, He taketh the wise in his in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore, let no man glory in man, for all things are yours. So you can see, the, the wisdom of this world is foolishness. Nigerians are all around the place, you know, Bitcoin here, cryptocurrency, you know, making extra money, best businessmen, you know, breaking through, you know, areas of Esau's kingdom. But they are not breaking through in this knowledge of the truth. That's which they should seek the most, they are not seeking it. They are not knowledgeable in this truth, but they are knowledgeable in all sorts of wickedness or different things that have no that have no 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 profits for their lives, you know. And hey, something really wicked is coming soon. I told you this devil is about to, you know, to unleash on your people, you know, or this devil is about to unleash, you know, is about to show his own. And the devil, mind you, is not what your your fake pastors teach you it is the devil is a man you know the devil is a man that is against that is against the most eye you know adversary you know that's what the word satan is and the devil also does things against the most eye and he is a man actually now i i'll bring out a couple of more precepts and close this lesson this is the book of revelation 12 12 he quotes therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them and this heaven actually represents the sons of israel those who are actually putting into practice to the best of their abilities the commandments of the most high those who are looking upon his salvation those who are waiting for the redemption of his son an average Nigeria would believe that the world is going to end, but the world is not ending. It's the era that is ending. The rule of this so-called white man is ending. And the kingdom will be given to the hands of the saints, who are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, and the rest of they that are spread in all parts of the world and look like those parts of the world where they are spread. This is the promise. This is the good news. And he quotes, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, which are those who are living in ignorance now, who are, you know, purposely living in ignorance, not seeking the truth. Sinners, you know. And what is sin? Sin is um the transgression of the law, according to the book of First John, if I'm not mistaken, chapter 3, you know. Woe to all of you that are not seeking this truth. You know, woe to all of you that are not seeking knowledge, which knowledge is found in the scriptures, you know, and you need to sincerely pray to the true names of the Most High, whose name is Yahweh, and his son is Yahweh Shai, and come out from all the madness that they've been teaching you, all philosophies that they've been teaching you all these, all these years, you know. Look for that courage, because most of you wouldn't be able to to give up all the lifestyle that you, you're used to doing. You don't want to lose your friends. You don't want to lose families. But yeah, the Bible tells us that, you know, um, those who love their family, just paraphrasing, those who love mother, father, wife, or whatever, you know, they are not they are not worthy of my kingdom. These are the words of Yahweh Shai, the one you ignorantly call Jesus. He says... For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And these devils are really ready to plumb on you. That's why you need the the the, the you need um the salvation of the Most High Yahweh. You know that's why you need the Most High to come save you in these times, man, because these devils are coming with great wrath, ready to plumb on you. Now, I want to go straight up to the word, excuse me, Let's go straight up to the word devil, you know, just to show you the 
what devil is Diablos and he tells you slanderer, slanderous man. I really don't know why it's showing this way. Um, let's get it again. The word devil. Oops. I really, excuse me just a moment. I would need to turn the phone. I don't know why it's acting out like this. I want to show you the meaning of that word devil. Okay, pardon me. So you can see the word devil. He says, plone to slander. A slanderous accusing falsely. They accuse you falsely. They say they say your your um they say you your your product of um of the apes, you know, you come from the apes. They say you are dumb, you're not wise, you know. They say you you, you you only know how to do wickedness, they call you black, which black means void of light, negativity, you know. They call you all different kinds of things. They, they, they slander you and accuse you falsely, you know. And now check this out. You say a metaphor applied to a man who, by opposing the cause of the most high, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. So you see, most Nigerians will be expecting to see that horned goat or horned red man. But it's actually speaking about a man. The devil is a man. And these so-called preachers that you have, they don't teach you all these things, you know. All they care about is their offering every Sunday. Which Sunday is not, <laughs> there is no way in the Bible it's written, you should, you, should, you, should, um, you should go to church on Sunday. You know, and that Sunday goes back to the song worship. You people come out before it's too late because a big destruction is coming on this planet. And as you know it, things will never be the same, you know. Things are not going back to normal. The only hope you have is to be counted worthy of being part of the new kingdom to come. Nigerians, come out from your wicked acts. Come out from your vain imaginations, from your vain plans and dreams and ambitions. And your number one ambition should be that of seeking the truth. The most high Yahweh Hashem Shai, just like the book of Ecclesiasticus says, in chapter 12, I believe. Can this is the book of Ecclesiastic Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13? It says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh, fear the Most High, and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. And this goes out to the rest of you, Kenya, Ghana, Cameroon. You all should wake up, come out from your vain imaginations, because there is no time. There is a destruction coming to this planet. There is no time to be messing around. Seeking for money, seeking for fame and all that thing. These things are not going to help you in the day of trouble. Well, I hope this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Baruka, Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Shalom.